good morning student let's start today's class okay in today's class we are going to discuss about binary the band theory of solid okay the uh, the uh, in previous class uh, in previous classes we have seen that the solar voltaic or the solar cell okay the individual solar cells the working of the solar cell or the semiconductor concept of the solar cell or photoelectric effect all of these is uh, clarified by using band theory okay so now let's uh, let us discuss about what is band theory and uh, uh, and before discussing about band theory first of all you must know what is semiconductor and the characteristics characteristics of the semiconductors okay so first of all what is semiconductor semiconductor are solid material either non metallic element or compound which allow electron to pass through them so that they can so that they conduct electricity in much in much the same way as met, metal okay so uh, semiconductor is a non metal or compound okay it semiconductor is no, not a metal okay it is a non metal or compounds which allow electron through it as like uh, metal and the current also conduct through it as like metal okay and the now the characteristic is first characteristic is resistivity is usually high okay the resistivity of the current conductor i mean sorry or the resistivity of the semiconductor is usually usually high okay in in uh, in metal the resistivity or the resistivity of the semiconductor is higher than the resistivity of the uh, metal okay so the conductivity in uh, here add some uh, add uh, one point okay uh, i forgot it that the resistivity uh, the, the conductivity of the semiconductor the conductivity of the semiconductor is lie between the conductivity of insulator and the conductivity of metal okay the, because in, in insulator the conductivity is zero that means there is no correct conduction and the conductivity in metal uh, the uh, in metal is uh, or metal or conductor okay uh, conductor is very high okay and in semiconductor the conductivity is in between the insulator and conductor okay at this point okay at this temperature another temperature coefficient of the resistance is always negative okay the temperature coefficient of the uh, resistance of the semiconductor is always negative okay when some suitable material uh, sorry some suitable metallic impurity that is arsenic gallium is added to a semiconductor its conducting properties changes appreciably that means when uh, the uh, we know the conductivity of the semiconductor is lie between the conductivity of insulator and the conductivity of uh, conductor okay but when some suitable metallic impurity uh, that uh, for example arsenic or gallium is added to the semiconductor its uh, its conductivity property changes accordingly okay and uh, the example of this uh, semiconductor you know uh, the popular example is silicon and germanium okay and now let us see what is band theory okay you know in atomic structure you know uh, this band theory you have already studied in your uh, basic electronics class okay Uh, which uh, the atomic structure uh, energy level energy band uh, you have already uh, intrinsic semiconductor extrinsic semiconductor n type p semiconductor p type semiconductor you have already studied this in your second 
semester okay uh, so but uh, now discuss it more okay in an ice uh, you know this is this is the atomic structure okay of an atom okay this is nucleus in center okay this is first orbit this is second orbit and this is third orbit okay here the electrons this uh, in this orbit here electrons uh, circulate around the nucleus okay this is the atomic structure okay in an isolated atom okay electron can exist only at discrete or quantized energy level each orbit of atom structure atomic structure has fixed amount of energy that means when we consider only one atom okay then we get uh, first orbit have one energy fixed energy level okay the second orbit have one fixed energy level and the second third orbit have uh, fixed energy level okay? okay and this energy level is represented here the energy level diagram this is called the first energy level which is first orbit and the second energy level which is second orbit and third or, uh, energy level which is third orbit okay the fixed amount of orbit energy possesses by every orbit okay but in case of or but when we consider or in case of solid uh, there are many atoms okay so uh, so that uh, so that each orbit sorry each orbit of atom of solid have a range of energy that means when we consider one atom of let's say iron okay when we consider one atom of iron then we get the uh, we get that that atom have the, or the first orbit of that atom have let's say uh, if we can consider if we consider uh, what if we consider this is iron atom okay fe this is iron atom then the first orbit let's say uh, have energy level uh, 5 eb okay 5 eb eb mean electronic volt okay then the F first energy level here is 5 eb but when we consider total fe or total solid of uh, iron okay then here uh, so many atoms are there crores of crores atoms are there okay so let's say this atom of first orbit or the first orbit of this atom is 5 ev okay then this um, or the first orbit of this atom is 2 ev okay then this uh, first orbit of this atom is 3 ev okay then this uh, first orbit of this atom is 4 ev so as as you see there is uh, different different of energy level of the uh, of the of that solid okay so here what we uh, when we consider one solid uh, solid uh, one solid then a range of energy coming okay then for every orbit then there is a range of energy now this range uh, let's say 2 eb to 5 eb okay so this uh, so the range of energies possesses by an electron in a solid is known as el electronic no, sorry energy band okay here you see this is the range okay this is not straight okay this is the range let's say this point is uh, 2 eb and this point is 5 eb that means the range between 2 eb to 5 eb this is first band okay or first orbit of that uh, 
फास्ट और एनर्जी रेंज ऑफ फास्ट और वेट ऑफ द ऑल एटम्स इन दैट सॉलिड ओके देन सिमिलरली सेकेंड बैंड एंड थर्ड बैंड एंड सो ऑन ओके ना दिस बैंड ओके देर आर थ्री एनर्जी बैंड ओके वन द फर्स्ट वन इज द एनर्जी और द रेंज ऑफ एनर्जी पोजेसेस बाय वैलेंसी इलेक्ट्रॉन इज कॉल्ड वैलेंसी बैंड ओके यू नो व्हाट इज वैलेंसी इलेक्ट्रॉन द वैलेंसी इलेक्ट्रॉन इज दैट द आउटर मोस्ट और द आउटर मोस्ट ऑर्बिट इलेक्ट्रॉन्स ऑफ एनी एटम इज कॉल्ड वैलेंसी इलेक्ट्रॉन दैट मीन्स दिस इज न्यूक्लियस ओके दिस इज न्यूक्लियस एंड फर्स्ट ऑर्बिट एंड सेकेंड ऑर्बिट एंड थर्ड ऑर्बिट लेट्स ए थर्ड ऑर्ड बिट अप टू थर्ड ऑर्ड बिट दिस एटम हैव ओके इन थर्ड ऑर्ड बिट लेट्स ए टू इलेक्ट्रॉन्स आर देयर सो दिस दिस टू इलेक्ट्रॉन्स और दिस इज कॉल्ड आउटर मोस्ट इलेक्ट्रॉन्स दैट आउटर मोस्ट इलेक्ट्रॉन इज कॉल्ड वैलेंसी इलेक्ट्रॉन एंड द एनर्जी रेंज और द एनर्जी रेंज पॉजिसिस बाय दिस टू इलेक्ट्रॉन्स इज कॉल्ड वैलेंसी बैंड ओके इज कॉल्ड वैलेंसी बैंड फर्स्ट बैंड इज कॉल्ड वैलेंसी बैंड एंड द सेकेंड बैंड इज कॉल्ड कंडक्शन बैंड कंडक्शन बैंड की इज कॉज द रेंज ऑफ एनर्जी पॉजिसेस बाय द कंडक्शन इलेक्ट्रॉन इज नॉन एज कंडक्शन बैंड व्हाट इज कंडक्शन इलेक्ट्रॉन ओके व्हाट इज कंडक्शन इलेक्ट्रॉन यू नो द वैलेंसी इलेक्ट्रॉन द आउटर मोस्ट और द ऑर्बिट इलेक्ट्रॉन इज कॉल्ड वैलेंसी इलेक्ट्रॉन दिस टू इलेक्ट्रॉन्स ओके but when we apply some heat or external energy to that atom they these two electrons okay uh, uh, get some energy and uh, or leave the orbit and leave the orbit okay due to or leave the orbit since this uh, two electron uh, is loosely attached to nucleus or the attraction force between electro this electron and nucleus is very low okay so they can easily leave the orbit okay. and when they leave the orbit they call free electrons okay free electron and these free electrons is called conduction electron because due to these free electrons elect uh, electricity is conducted okay or the flow of these free ele free electrons is called uh, electricity electricity okay so this free electrons when the uh, valence electron get freed from the outermost orbit that uh, electrons is called free electron or conduction electron and the energy uh, the energy possesses the energy range possesses by that by this free free electron or conduction electron is called conduction band okay and the between uh, valency band and the conduction band between the, that gap is called forbidden energy gap this is also band okay and remember the electron the electrons can stay in the in these two bands okay that is valency band in valency band and conduction band uh, uh, the electron cannot stay stay in the forbidden energy gap there is no electron in the forbidden energy gap okay uh, there is electron in the valency band and a conduction band okay and in in the in, in insulator case okay in insulator case the valency band is full okay and the conduction band is nearly empty okay remember that or the, the all of the electrons uh, is in valency band as in in the case of uh, semiconductor okay and this forbidden gap uh, varies uh, accordingly according to the semiconductor material let's say um, silicon this forbidden gap is uh, 1.2 uh, sorry 0.2 and the in in case of germanium this forbidden gap is 0.7 ev okay is this germanium is 0.7 ev and the in silicon case there is 0.2 ev okay 0.2 EV okay uh, and see this uh, forbidden gap is a very 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 small energy gap okay so uh, so that the valency electron okay the valency electron 
get energized uh, by any methods or external um, force applied and uh, easily jumped to the conduction band okay now now by adding small amount of impurities okay called dopant okay uh, to uh, to intensive semiconductor what is intensive semiconductor the pure semiconductor or the only silicon um, are there only silicon material are there then that the pure silicon semiconductor or the pure germanium semiconductor is called intensive semiconductor but when we add small amount or high amount of impurities which is called dopant okay uh, then that semiconductor is called extensive semiconductor okay that means the pure semiconductor is called intensive semiconductor and when we add some uh, impurities in the in that then that is called uh, or the intensive semiconductor is converted into extrinsic semiconductor and this extrinsic semiconductor is of two types n type and p type n type when pentavalent impur uh, dopant added okay or impurity added pentavalent again that means the outermost of these uh, atoms or of the of these atoms have five electrons okay uh, example is antimony which is sp and uh, for p type tetravalent uh, dopant added tetravalent means the outermost of orbit of these elect uh, atoms have uh, these uh, elements have uh, three electrons tetra means three penta means five three electrons okay uh, example is boron okay n type semiconductor have high number of electrons as majority charge carrier this n type semiconductor have a high number of free electrons and so that the majority charge carrier uh, majority charge carrier means a number of charge carriers is high which carriers number of uh, which in uh, number of carriers is high there is two carriers remember this uh, in semiconductor there is two charge carrier one is electron okay which is negatively charged one is hole okay one is hole which positively charged okay and uh, in n type the electron is uh, uh, more so this is the majority and in p type uh, this hole is more okay so the in p type the majority is hole okay remember this okay okay thank you